today I'm excited to finally announce a brand new series on the channel called 3D Dungeoneering. So as you can see, I've been busy the past few weeks. I've been excitedly printing out all kinds of various floor tiles and wall tiles, uh, furnishings, accessories, treasure, uh, even a few miniatures that, that I've, I've started getting into recently. And the purpose of this video series will be to cover in detail everything involved with 3D printing your own dungeon and accessories. Uh, along the way, we're going to do detailed tutorials. We will do some product reviews. A lot of the files that you see in front of me were purchased from various companies. I think it's very cool that uh, there's this emerging market of companies that are catering to 3D printers. So you can just like purchase the files and then print them out yourself as many times as you'd like. Uh, a lot of the pieces you see here cost us literally pennies uh, once we have a printer and we're up and running. Uh, some of these small pieces especially are incredibly inexpensive to print. So we're, we're going to print our little hearts out. And I've, I've really been looking forward to doing this series. Uh, I hope some of you are as excited about it as I am because uh, I did a lot of role playing in high school. I didn't do much for the rest of my life, but I've, I've recently really gotten the bug to start doing some of it again. So it's super cool to me that we can use our 3D printers to print out our own stuff instead of having to buy everything individually. Like, I can't imagine how much all of this stuff would have cost if I'd have bought it uh, from from stores already made. Uh, and as it is, once once we have the files, we can print a lot of these things out for, for pennies, literally pennies. And uh, here I have a piece that's a pretty good example of what we're going to be doing. Uh, this is... This is not yet painted, but this is a completed room. I printed out all the pieces that I wanted for this layout. Uh, we even have some working doors and a working gate and stuff here. And you see it's, it's a nice modular unit that's assembled with these little clips that we also make ourselves. We can easily disassemble this and, and change the arrangement of the pieces if we want to use this for something else. Uh, it's very tough. It's made out of plastic. It's easy to, to move around, like if, if we were running the game or if I was running the game and I wanted to keep this room hidden, uh, I could have it under the table or, or over on a shelf somewhere, and then when the time comes for the players to see it, I can grab it, click it into the existing layout that they've already seen, and we're good to go. We've got a new room. So... I'm, I'm super excited to do this. Uh, I'm going to be releasing videos on a regular basis about this stuff. Uh, we're obviously going to cover all of the things related to the 3D printing side, but we're also going to do some, some conventional hobby things. Uh, I've got a few projects with LED lights for some very small-scale lighting and stuff for our dungeon layouts that we're going to do. Uh, uh, another, for instance, uh, there's, there's a few techniques with using regular uh, beads to make cool little potion bottles and stuff. We're going to do some of that. Uh, there's, there's a lot in the future. This is a series that's going to go on for some time and we're going to cover a, t a ton of different things. Uh, just printing miniatures and stuff out. Like I made these little, little mushroom guys the other day. Uh, just that aspect of it. There's, there's a lot of things to talk about. There's a lot of technique to discuss. Uh, and there's a lot of options available to you in like the finishing and painting of, of all this stuff. So we're going to cover all of that. So if you're interested, uh, stay tuned. This, this, is essentially episode zero. Uh, we're not really going to cover anything in this episode. This is just announcing that the series is officially starting. We're officially starting, guys. Uh, but uh, I would look for the first episode next week. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but it's going to be something cool, obviously. All this stuff is cool. So if you're looking forward to that or be interested in any of the things I've mentioned, uh, stay tuned because there's there's a lot of content on the way as far as, as, far as this dungeon stuff goes. Uh, it's probably going to take us a while to cover this table, but I thought this was a, a, a both realistic and ambitious goal for the start. Uh, I can't imagine how cool it will be to have this table covered with a fully finished, painted fully furnished, uh, 3D printed dungeon stuff that we made completely ourselves. Uh, we did it all ourselves. Uh, it'd be very cool. It'd be relatively inexpensive. We'll basically only be uh, spending money on filament, which I probably didn't use $20 worth of filament here. I would guess there's probably $10 worth of filament in all of the pieces you see in front of us. So very inexpensive considering 
uh, the cost of a lot of the retail alter alternatives for modular dungeon tiles if you'd want to buy them already done. So uh, I think I think we have a lot of potential here, and I'm really, really looking forward to making some of these videos. So thanks for checking this video out. Like I said, stay tuned. We'll have tons of content coming in the future. And I just hope that some of, some of you are as excited about this as I am. I'm really, really looking forward to this stuff. I can't wait to get some of it done. So I'll see you in the future, and thanks for stopping by. Thanks.